Hey troops, Roy from Geeks Adventures. Woohoo! So I got another toy review. I'm got a mega figure review this time. It is the overkill mega figure from their spawn line. Yeah! Because I had manga spawn. You remember Manga Manga spawn, right? Not fair. Doesn't have a cool adversary. Sitting there on the shelf, all sad and alone, see? I don't have anybody to fight. I need an adversary. I need a worthy nemesis to face in my fight for vengeance and destruction and to fight the forces of evil. Oh, that! We gotta balance, people. Come on! It's a circle of life thing. Wow, I'm crossing streams, aren't I? Anyway, so... <laughs> Here we go. Wow, that's really big. That's why it's called a mega figure. <laughs> Did not take the name lightly. Here it is in the box in all of its giant oversized manga, manga, mecha, anime inspired, crazy 1990s inspired art glory. Um, here we go, the bookend on one side. Spawn on the other side, and wow, that's actually pretty cool art on the back. So, what does it look like out of the box? Is this nuts or what? <laughs> that's really big. <laughs> and there we are for size comparison. Wow. This is like Hulk Hogan versus Andre the Giant. Wow, that's really dated, isn't it? Uh, uh, um, 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 somebody versus Braun Strowman? I'm sorry, I'm like over 50 years old, out of touch with WWE. At least I remember Braun Strowman and Brock Lesnar, all right? Oh, actually, yeah, Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman, yeah, yeah, all right. Wow, that's dated too, because shouldn't it be like, what, Roman Reigns versus Brock? I got distracted, okay? I'm a geek. I get distracted easily. Anyway, there. <laughs> um, the figure, by the way, the one, one accessory is the obligatory stand, which, as you can tell, because of the figure's massive girth and the fact that it's got these giant feet, uh, you, you don't need the stand. On the other hand, it's good to have extra, so hey. Um... Especially because sometimes the figures are badly balanced, so you need two of them. Even if the figures look really, really cool. <laughs> Just say it. Remember my last review? Okay. Anyway, um, so this is Overkill. The adversary, I don't know. Uh, like I have always said, I do not know a thing about Spawn. I just know that the figures look really cool. Um, this figure is no exception. Um... Now, the color scheme is pretty simple. Silver, you know, you got silver, you got green, you got nasty motley flesh tones, yellow. But the nice thing is the contrasting with the highlights, like the yellow, a little bit extra things like the red eye, together work surprisingly well. <laughs> and as usual, for a McFarlane figure, could use more paint apps. I mean, look, but... Look at this detail. I mean, look at this simple detailing here on this giant forearm armor gauntlet thing. Look at all that. It is, I mean, look, look at the back. Look, look at the back of the leg. It's beautiful. It is magnificent. Um, and like I said, the feet are wide. So, hey, Spinny! Stable! <laughs> Um, articulation wise, uh, let, let's be frank here. You got to figure that bulky. There's only so much fun. You're not doing yoga. Okay. But at least you got basic stuff. You know, knees, legs, ankle, elbow. Um, so the overall posing possible is, oops, sorry about that. Oops. <laughs> you get the idea. Um, 
So yeah, it's very, very cool. So, you know, you're doing posing, posing, like, ah, fine elbow. <sighs> Suplex. <laughs> get the idea. Um, multitude of possibilities. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it, it is, it, it's, there isn't anything super complicated. Um, there's nothing revolutionary here, okay? Nonetheless, what was created looks really cool and well done. Uh, which in the end is what you really want in a figure. Um, you know, the, the beautiful detailing. Something that just looks, you know, you want to put it next to this and go... So, uh, all in all, it it's worth getting. It, it's a little pricey because it is a mega figure. But on the other hand, keep in mind, in, in terms of volume, this thing is literally twice the size of the regular retail standard size McFarlane figure. So, you get it. Value being all relative. Okay, just saying. You can find this anywhere. Online, your local comic book shop. You know, just poke around you will find this thing, okay? Um, so there you go. Um, it, it's... You know, sometimes it's easy to get obsessed with the, you know, hyper-articulation, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, and you forget that sometimes you just want something that looks badass. And... Is that not badass? Badass. Ah! Anyway, I'm going to go because it's a weekend and lots of things to get done. Um, so anyway, uh, you all take care. May the, uh, you know, have a good rest of the weekend. May the force be with you. May the odds be in your favor. Enjoy checking out D23, which if I'm smart, I'll do some kind of transmission on at some point. Um, anyway, most importantly, be good to each other, K-peeps. You all take care. Peace. Bye.